is joined by Dr. Saeed Hussein from Trinity Health of New England. Good to see you again, sir. Likewise, Tim. And I am happy with the weather that we have out here now to be talking, that it feels more like spring. Fortunately, it seems like spring allergies are coming sooner mm. than usual. So let's talk about ways not just to treat them, but I, I think sometimes for a lot of people in my house that suffer from allergies, there's more you can do to sort of proactively almost prevent them. That's okay. right. Yeah. Absolutely. And why are we seeing this, Tim, is because we've had higher than normal temperatures throughout this winter season. We've had ample rain, yeah. which means pollination on trees is occurring a little bit earlier. Getting the warmer weather, uh, it does come with some uh, side effects. So including, if you, especially if you have allergies. So right. what you can do is on a day when there's high pollen, stay indoors. If you go out, if you, uh, then wear sunglasses to prevent you know your eyes from watering and itching. Yeah. Um, take medications, they're over-the-counter medications that are available if you need them. Um, and so, and also ventilation is important. Um, if you can use an air conditioner, for instance, to acts as an air filter at home, right. that's also another option. But there's some common sense measures you can take to reduce uh, any symptoms from uh, allergies this season. And I do want to ask about medication, but I know sometimes there's that urge to sort of throw open your windows, let the fresh air in. Sometimes that lets in the pollen, it too. It does, though, especially it? if it's a high pollen day. So you, ha you have to be careful about that because then you, will be, you won't be feeling that great after all. Yeah, yeah. All right, now, medications. Do we just take them when we get symptoms? Is there anything we Correct. can start taking beforehand? You could, depending on the type of allergies you have and how severe uh, those allergies do become. Um, then, uh, yes, there are medications that are available that you can take. Okay. All right. Moving on. The FDA has approved Wigovi. To, uh, it's been being used now also to reduce serious heart problems. But does that just apply to people who are with uh, dealing with obesity, or is it now going to help a wider subset of the population? Yeah. Great question. So this is a this is based. The approval is based off of a large study, seventeen thousand odd people who um, were basically individuals who are either overweight or obese and had cardiovascular disease. Mm. And the outcome that was measured in the two cohorts of people um, in this trial was major uh, cardiovascular events, such as death, right. heart attack, or stroke. And those on Vigovi actually showed a pretty good um, uh, response in terms of uh, fewer outcomes. And so this is the first time th this drug, this type of drug is getting uh, um, approval from the FDA. So overweight, obese, um, and you have cardiovascular disease, uh, you may be a candidate um, in order to reduce your risk from mm. major cardiovascular events. So um, uh, take home message here is make sure you, that you have a discussion with your provider. Uh, to be clear, is the, are these just knockoff effects from losing weight because of Wegovy, or is it the drug itself? I had a feeling you were going to ask me this question. <laughs> so we don't know that yet. Okay. We know that reducing uh, weight does lead to a decrease in uh, cardiovascular events, Tim, but yeah. more needs to be uh, studied in terms of what exactly the mechanism is. Right. And you know what? If you're taking Wagovi and you're seeing those benefits, it doesn't matter. Right. The benefits are the benefits. Uh, lastly, the CDC's new guidelines for COVID-19 are going to begin soon. Uh, the changes are now basically the recommended time frame for how long you should isolate once you get infected. What is this change and why is it important? Yeah, we've come such a long way, Tim. Mm -hmm. um, and two years ago, so the CDC after the Omicron wave made the uh, change from 10 days of isolation to five. Now it's going away totally. It aligns with what the CDC guidance is for other respiratory uh, viruses such as influenza and RSV. So that it basically means that folks, it's easier for folks to follow guidance. Mm -hmm. um, so what, what the, the new CDC uh, guidance suggests is, or recommends is if you do have COVID-19, um, and your symptoms are improving and you're fever free without the use of any medication right. for 24 hours, then you don't need to isolate. Right. So However, you, you can't be take. Oh, yeah. I'm here's sorry. the Keep caveat. Yes. So if you do um, live with someone or you're uh, exposed to someone who may be vulnerable to higher uh, or higher risk for a severe disease, sure. such as elderly, immunocompromised, pregnant, um, then it's advisable that you look at ventilation where you live. Um, and make sure that you wear a mask to protect others. So some of those common sense measures that have helped us are still there, yeah. but the isolation guidance has changed. And I think that's going to make people's lives a lot easier. Real quick, though, what was the reason behind the change? I'm Great seeing question. some misinformation. Yes. People so here's the biggest we were wrong. reason. The biggest yeah. reason is data based on our most recent uh, wave uh, that we saw during the winter. 
fewer infections, fewer hospitalizations, fewer deaths. So death, for instance, in 2021 at the peak of COVID-19 during the pandemic, 450,000 people died from COVID-19, yeah. Tim. Now it's down to 75,000. Right. So all of those taken into consideration, the CDC you know, has modified its guidance. Yes. It's not to suggest this is not a dangerous virus. It still is. But there's, um, it, it aligns with what, what the guidance is for other respiratory illnesses. Yeah, the course of COVID-19 as a disease has changed over time, and the recommendations right. are changing with it. And we have more tools in our arsenal. Yes, we do. That's right, too. Yeah. Also, building up of immunity. There's a lot going on in our favor. That's Doctor, right. thank you so much. Thank we you. we got a little extra time yes. today to talk more, and we always appreciate it. Erica.